The Zorn Dining Commons. Located along Keene State's picturesque Appian Way, is a place where students can come in to have a nutritious meal. The facility feeds somewhere in the ballpark of 2,500 students each day. Hey look, there's the rocks crew. We'll catch up with them a bit later. But first, whatever happens to all that food that we don't eat? Dining Commons Supervisor Penny LaPalm takes us for a look behind the scenes. What's it like in the dish room? It's pretty busy in here all the time. Do you see uh, a lot of uh, plate waste? There's a lot. Of, a lot of um, sometimes kids will put their trays on and they've got five or six plates stacked up one on top of the other and they'll be a piece of pizza on one and they'll be, you know, the main, whatever we're having on the main line, a lot of turkey, a lot of chicken. I think that a lot of what it is, is that the kids come in, they'll come in like down here where it's all busy right now, right? and they're all in line and they'll take extra because in, instead of thinking that the line's going to get smaller and they can go back up if they're hungry and get something else. They take everything all at once and, and a lot of it so that they don't have to have to stay or go back in the line. Now you said you had a new gentleman come into work the other day? Yeah, yeah. Lucian came in. It was his first day. He's an older man. He's in, I think he's in his 50s and um, he worked in the dish room last night and he, he couldn't believe it. I was from the dish room all the way upstairs to, to punch him out. He said, I can't believe how much food I threw out. I just can't believe how much food I threw out tonight. And he just felt sick about it, he said. He said he knows so many people that don't have food and to throw all that away, he thought was awful. I think it'd be better if, if, the, if the kids just took took something and just went and sat down and had that and then they could go back and get more. And I, I think the line would dissipate so they wouldn't have to get back in another long line. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Here's how it works. The leftover food waste is scraped off plates into a watery chute, transporting it to the pulping machine, which then vomits the food pulp out into storage containers. When full, these containers are kept inside a cold room awaiting pickup. Untouched food such as rice bypasses the pulping stage and is collected separately for composting. By recycling most of its food waste, the dining commons is able to save money on waste collection. Here's where those cheerful young lads and lasses of the rock screw come in. They pick up those barrels of sludge in the big colorful rocks truck and haul it away to a waste collection facility in Brattleboro. The rank smell of rotting food is enough to make a Buckingham Palace guard wiggle his nose. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, and these fine young spirits are up to the task. Once deposited, the pile of slop that originated as leftover food on our plates is scooped up by a third party to be made into compost. And so the recycling process is brought full circle through the combined efforts of rocks as well as our own to reduce the amount we waste. We move forward towards greater sustainability on the campus and beyond.